Dear viewer, Assalamu alaikum. I am Engineer Muhammad Rizal Haq. Welcome to my Automation Tools YouTube channel. We know nowadays in industrial automation system, different types of PLC are using. Siemens S7-1200 CPU is most usual of them. Today, I will discuss about the online diagnostic and fault detection procedure of Siemens S7-1200 CPU by using PIA portal version 15.1. So, let's start. First, we connect the, our interface cable that is the Ethernet cable that used to upload, download and monitor the PLC program of uh, Siemens S7-1200 PLC. You see, now I connect this cable between PLC to laptop. Our uh, CPU model is a CPU 1215C DC DC relay. So, first we connect this Ethernet cable. After complete the, the connection, I will show step by step how can we monitor that means the online diagnosis. How can we online diagnosis the program of any CPU? So, first we open the PI portal version 15.1. After opening then, we I show you step by step. At first we create new project and here you can give a one name. Project name you can put an object project name. Also you can uh, uh, select the part that means the folder that where you want to store this program. Also you can make a comment that what are you want to, what are you doing. I am making comment the fault detection. That means I want to know. That means I want to find out the fault of this CPU. Have any fault or not? Your or hardware is okay and program is okay. I can show you step by step. Then press the create button. Then the our project will be created. Then we go to directly go to the online and diagnostic left side. You can see online and diagnostic. You can click here. Then we go to the show all device, press on show all device or go to the accessible device. That means the device are directly connected with this interface cable. I want to show this one. Now we select the type of PCPC interface and PCPC interface cable you can select then you can press the start start, start search. Then you can find out that uh, the which device are accessible by using this interface cable by the laptop I can show. You can see SMI and the PLC. This is my one and showing the PLC2 and select PLC2 and show. Then we can uh, directly get access to the PLC. You see? You see? We can access to the PLC and there uh, in this PLC we can show, uh, I will show step by step there how can we determine the any fault by happening in this CPU or not. You can, if you find any alarm in the LED system, you can see, I press the online and diagnostic, then you can see the status of this CPU, that you see the CPU is showing this run mode and uh, it is showing the run mode is the LED right side, you can see the green LED is a blue, that means the PLC in run mode and no load and no maintenance error. If you have any error or maintenance error, then you can, the LED will be, uh, will be blue one. You can see, here you can also see the manufacturing information, you can also see the model number of this CPU that uh, is very helpful to buy any CPU for, uh, buy to help to the, uh, buy to need this part number if you want to focus any new CPU. You know, we you know if we can buy a new CPU as same as this uh, our using one then you can use the backup program to download and then can use this one. Here you can see part number, version number, hardware number, all you can see, find this here. You see that means that our CPU is running in good condition. In the here you can the general, part of the diagnostic in the first step is general. Second step is diagnostic status. You see, here well, uh, in the right side you can also scroll and can you found where this is the CPU is connected and where this is CPU uh, the uh, manufacturing information. All you can find out in, by the, in this step. That means the in diagnostic mode, in the first time general step. Here you can find out all the information about the CPU. Next, next one you can see the next tab is the 
diagonalistic status you can place here and here you can see the module is exist and ok that means the, the module or dynamic type is ok then you go to the diagnostic buffer it is the most important the uh, diagnostic buffer or the uh, event memory you can see in the, in the other say, the, say, CPU that is the in a 200 or a 400 you can find using the event memory but here you can see the uh, diagnostic buffer and the diagnostic buffer you can see the event memory date after the so you see the all the information all the your all the work that you done in this CPU you can see step by step by you will say the date time and uh, the what we have you done in the CPU you can find this in the diagnostic buffer by using here you can find out the fault if any fault any happen in the CPU then you can find out here what the fault is happening and uh, by taking this information from this diagnostic buffer you can remedy or you can identify the problem of this uh, CPU or any hardware or you can find out is here. So, you can see the uh, from the installation uh, provisioning time to up to date all the buffer of the event memory you can find is here to see what is the happening in the uh, sometimes you stop the CPU you running for so the CPU you change from stop to run the CPU you change from the stop to run is a start up to run mode that means that all the things that are happening in the CPU all is here recording is here by seeing this recording you can uh, find out the problem or you can find out the fault by using this diagnostic buffer. The, then you can see that means it is very helpful to identify the problem of any CPU. In the ISO 200 that means the 300, 400 you can also find out this uh, event memory and by analysis this event memory you can understand about the fault condition and you can take this uh, uh, action as per this uh, buffer. And then the next cycle you can, you can see the hardware connection in the IP address or you can find you see it is the PLC IP address the, that is used to connect the in the uh, ACMI or to use this IP address to connect to the ACMI that means the IP address and then the port number the port number is used automatically in the port 1, port 2 you can send the combination details that means see in the diagnostic buffer you can all the tabs you can uh, see one by one and you can uh, get the any information. Now, we want to go to the online to see the program, the, what is the uh, condition of the program or in the, or the other hardware that are connected to the CPU we can find out from this here. It is either, it is the program, all the program that are the loading that means are active in this uh, CPU. So, we can open a program to want to see, to see present program and uh, in the monitor mode you can also identify if you can find that the, uh, uh, we, uh, by using this uh, CPU we cannot start our machine then we can the, by taking this uh, program in the monitor mode and then can by analysis we can find out the root cause that for that the machine cannot uh, run we can uh, analysis this one we want to go to the online mode but uh, we cannot uh, go to the online you can see the accessible device is showing but in this uh, diagnostic and online online diagnostic mode you cannot go to the uh, online mode so we have to close this one and then we can again upload this program we cannot upload we directly access to the cpu so we cannot go to the uh, program in the online monitoring mode so we have to be close this one you see first we close this one and then again the you said that in the monitor mode is disabled so we cannot go to the monitor mode that means the uh, online mode and we cannot go to that it's online diagnostic mode so we have to go to first we close this one and we again we upload the program then we can go to the online mode so dear friend i am trying to define whether they have any the online mode or not but i fail so Again, we select the CPU and so they go to online or not. We go to online and go to open. Oh, both our online is disabled. So, we have to close this one. We close this program. And again, we open the TIA portal. Then we upload the PLC program. You can open and our existing program and we go to the online mode open project view that means the our store program we open not we upload then we go to the select program and go to online 
and uh, go to the upload, click on face upload or you go to the online, directly go to the online mode. So select and go to online. So no need to upload. So we, this it will have to select and go online. Then the our program will be put in online and in this uh, online mode we can uh, see the hardware status or you can see the other programs uh, that and that is working for or not you can easily understand by using this one. You see. You go to the PLC. Uh, device and network you can go to the device and network you can see the uh, status of this CPU and uh, when you use the CPU so the CPU number is online and you know uh, showing at any it does not show any error. Then we go to the online and diagnosis status you can show device configuration you can also go and when I go to the device configuration then you can see the all the hardware that are directly connected to the CPU you see all is are in online and all is showing the green light and they are showing the tick mark that means the all are in ok the, the module does not have any error if you find any error in the CPU or the other hardware then the where you can find an error and then the, then the, the tick mark will be, be becoming the cross mark then we can easily understand that the, by this online monitoring system that the, our hardware has been, that hardware has been a problem. So if we can open, uh, we also want to monitor the any program of the we go to online, you can see, go to online and then you can say, monitor the active program and if you find out that any problem happening that we cannot start the machine then you can take this program in online mode and we by analysis this one we can understand that but we can easily solve the problem then why the as when the machine is going to start by using this program, by using analysis this one, by using this buffer diagnosis, you can see the error and you can take necessary action. Then you can the, you, uh, monitor this program and can find out the actual cost. You see, and this is the start button for this machine to start. When it press this start one, then the uh, we get the power and the, it is the, 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 the starter that means the cell will be start. That means it is a one generator program that used to start the generator that is this program or this uh, project or this uh, PLC are using to start the diesel generator. So you see I am showing the step by step different types of program that are using to uh, our uh, CPU and you also can go to the data block or the alarm block here you also can find out the problem if you have any problem you can find out here, here you also can find out the problem that have any error in the program or they have any showing the ACMI that you can find out here you can see in the alarm function block here you can also see an alarm function block is here here is a left side you can see and the alarm function block I press and go alarm function plus it is the alarm function plus and different types of alarm are configured is there if you go to the select this alarm function block you can see this is the alarm already that means there is a digital input it is a digital input go to the online and then you can see all the false if any error will happen in this uh, program then the uh, monitor value will be become to true so you can see all is the false that means no alarm is showing in this one here also by monitoring this one you can also find out the problem there is a which problem or uh, which uh, input are showing the fault and for that the machine cannot be start you can uh, see by seeing this one you can also identify the problem so dear friend i will try to show you how can we online monitor or diagnostic or uh, seeing the problem list or the, uh, the diagnostic buffer can see how can we this monitor this one and diagnostic to solve our problem so i think say you can understand everything by seeing my video if you think my video is very helpful to you please subscribe my channel if you already subscribe so then thank you also like comments and share my video that other can learn about this so today no more today assalamu alaikum please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon also like comments and share thanks for watching